Hey guys, it's Bryony. So today I figured I'd do a video I'm not really sure I've done before, or if I have done it, I haven't called it this before, but it's a first impressions of the new Super Jenny menstrual cup which I got today. I've opened the box, but that's literally it. I'm just going to hold it this way so you can't see my ad address on the other side. Um, I think I might have done something similar in the past, but this is something I've not done on camera before where I've, I guess fluffy mail is kind of similar, but I've literally got this today and I haven't opened them or looked at the cups themselves, so I'm going to do it on camera and give you, tell you guys what my first impressions about the cup are, things I'm thinking about, and then maybe when I do the review in a couple of months time maybe, then you can see if those were concerns that I had maybe were valid or not and whatever. I have to apologise first of all if you hear any noises during this video, my house is never silent anymore. Um, also, some of you might have noticed the slightly new introduction, I call myself Bryony as opposed to Brie. That is something I'm going to be doing now because Bryony is my actual first name, Brie is just a nickname I gave myself when I came onto YouTube. Uh, for those of you who don't know how to spell it, here it is, this is how you spell my name. Um, I'm calling myself this now because I'm hoping to do a few more kind of like talks and stuff and actually hold events maybe in the future and I would need to use my actual name for that and also I'm just trying to get back to using the name Bryony as well because it's all my family call me that and none of them call me Brie and a lot of people only know me as Brie so it's very confusing if two of those people ever meet so I'm just trying to go integrate Bryony more into the, some of the guys who, well you guys who know me as Brie but Bryony is my name and it's what I'm going to be calling myself from now on and if you see comments in the future asking why this is happening please feel free to explain that. Anyway, getting back on the topic of the video, let's get this stuff out. So, oh my god that's really small. These are the boxes. I don't think, hang on, those are the two boxes. I don't think there's any kind of um, info in here. I don't think I, I'm pretty sure I didn't take anything out this morning. I literally did just open it up. I can see it says Super Jenny on the return address, so I know this is the Super Jenny cup. So if I remember rightly, they sent me a teal coloured small and a blue large. Let me see, I can't tell if there's anything on the box that indicates... The, ah, here it is. So this point in the box is where it says size 1 or size 2. So obviously size 1 and size 2. And I was right in thinking, yep, yeah, the teal and the dark blue are different. This is the size 1, this is the size 2. So I will be trying out, um, for my period, the size 1 because I always use the size 1 menstrual cup. So let's open that one first. The box is really quite compact and it's got like a superhero theme going to it. You see, this is what you miss when I do my reviews, is I always get rid of the packaging. But very much a superhero kind of feeling to it, and in, I guess this is comic style, it just says, made in the US, 100% medical grade silicone and FDA approved materials. And also has their website, and they have a user guide on their website to kind of, I think, reduce, cut back on, like, waste packaging. Okay, I've got the little tag off. Let's open this up. So this is, oh my goodness, so this is what the cup looks like. For a size 1 cup, this is actually quite big. It's not huge, but it's it's definitely the, a bigger size 1 than I have seen on other cups. It feels kind of slightly sticky, if that makes sense. Kind of like a slightly sticky um, silicone. This little stem is actually adorable. It's really flexible really good grips and I will probably cut this off but you can see it's kind of just a little bit stretchy there and very bendy. The cup itself feels quite soft, definitely very soft down at the base, maybe a little bit firmer up the top, it does feel like there's some slightly thicker silicone up here. It also has some measuring lines, it has a 7.5mm measuring line and a 15mm measuring line and then I think it also just says Super Jenny cup on the outside. I'm really not sure you guys will be able to see this if I try and get my camera to focus on it. Maybe you can kind of see the indents there, but it's, it's very, very faint. So this is the model one, or the size one, and it comes in this pouch. It's kind of cute. Uh, let's just see how it fits. The cup itself feels kind of, almost a little bit dusty, if that makes sense. Not filthy like my spoon cup I got was, it's nothing like that at all, just very slightly like you definitely want to sterilise it before you use it and then that is just the, the box, the rest of it, not really much else on there. Let's get the Model 2 open. So this is what it looks like inside the 
model two box also excuse the awfulness of my nails i was trying out the new um spray paint like spray on nail varnish and it was really cool and it worked out but i'm not very good at being patient anyway this is the wow this is a pretty decent sized model two i'll tell you that that's a decent capacity right there let me just get the model one out so i can show you a comparison there you go they are really quite different this is significantly bigger than the model one comes with the same pouch but yeah oh this one feels firmer at the top this cup definitely feels a bit firmer than the size one the model 2 is definitely a bit stronger than that that's very interesting in fact if I put them together you might be able to see y you can see the difference there it really is quite a bit oh quite a bit squishier than this one this blue is gorgeous I love the teal but this blue is also really nice again still a flexible slightly stretchy stem uh, much firmer, you can actually see the measuring lines more clearly on the blue. 7.5mm, 15mm written inside, and then Super Jenny. Again, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it even on this one. Maybe inside you can kind of see some of the writing, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, but it's, it's uh, from looking at it in person, it's a lot clearer to see this one. It also says made in the USA. If they both feel good, like they're pretty good quality, well made, there's no like unfinished seams, but you can see what I mean about like slightly being slightly dusty. Don't know if you can see that, but it's like a couple of little flecks on here. There in particular you can see. Just little bits of dust that you know are part of the factoring manufacturing process and um, you can just rinse them off when you boil it to sterilize it. So yeah, I guess my first impressions so far are that it looks like a well-made cup. I'm very interested to try it because it is quite different, actually, from a lot of other cups I've tried. And that is very rare that I say that. It's got quite a few different features to other cups I've tried. So I will be very interested to see how this works out for me. And this one doesn't feel too harsh either. Um, so that might work out quite good given that I have quite bad menstrual cramps. Um, but the other thing I'm kind of nervous about is its size. It's quite a big Model 1 and whether I will find that uncomfortable. That's what it looks like with its punch down fold. That's the fold I use. Pops open quite easily. Yeah, that's, I guess my only concern is its size so far. The Model 2 I'm not even going to attempt to try because I don't have a heavy flow. I will never need this much. But it's good for you guys to be able to see the two of them kind of compared so you can see how different the Model 1 is to the Model 2. So I hope you found this video helpful guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe, I will bring you a review on these as soon as I can and as soon as I've tried them out. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and I will see you later, bye bye.